In this video, we are going to try portable electric nail file from Amazon. It is so small, so I think my cell phone is slightly bigger. We're going to do product removal, dry manicure, and I will show you a very simple gel polished nail art that will be perfect for any season. Coming up! Hello guys, this is Anastasia. Let's unpack rechargeable nail drill. We have a manual here and this is the nail drill. It is so tiny, it's like light pink chrome color. You can charge it and then you will not need any cord. It will work on battery. And then we have this silver handpiece, which is relatively small and lightweight. We can also add this part if you choose to put the handpiece inside. On the other side, there is a holder if you choose to wear this e-file on your belt. And I like this holder for the handpiece, which looks like a teddy bear. And if you open it, we have drill bits kit inside. When I received it, it was not fully charged, so I had to charge it for about one hour. And you can see it right here on whether it is fully charged or not. I was surprised to see that it has a screen so you can see the exact speed you're using right now. When you have A, it means it's rotating forward and F is reverse. So that's a bit confusing, but they have these arrows so you can check in which direction it's rotating. This is my left hand and it's time to take it off. So I decided to give the first test drive for this nail drill to remove the product on my nails. I have hard gel extensions, so the only way to remove them is to file them off. I will be using my carbide drill bit with green abrasive mark because the ones that I included in the kit are diamond beads or sand bands and these are not suitable for product removal. I tried using 20,000 rotations per minute and first and it was working, but then I set it to 30 which was much better and finally tried it on the top speed, which is 35,000 rotations per minute. And I think it works the best this way. It is taking a while to remove the product. However, it is possible to file it off. I would say this nail drill is perfect for DIY or home users because it's so small and portable and it does have enough power to remove the product. But if you choose to work in the salon where you have many clients every day, then my recommendation is to look for something more powerful. On my first nail, I tried removing product mostly from the top, but let's try a different approach. I'm going to file off the free edge first, which is rather thick because as you can see, I had long nails and it's working and I'm using the top speed, 35,000 rotations per minute. I noticed that many nail technicians, especially beginners, are afraid to use a high speed, but I just want to show you that it is actually better, because if I would use a low speed, such as 15,000 rotations per minute, I will feel more vibration and heat, and it will be much harder to remove the product. But it depends. I'm not saying that you need to use the top speed all the time. But for product removal, usually it's better if you use at least 25,000 rotations per minute. When I started doing nails back in 2004, electric nail files were rather large and of course they always work through the cord. I remember I was thinking once the cell phones appeared and eventually they started to be thinner and smaller, I thought that one day electric nail files are also going to change and they will be smaller, thinner and maybe portable or even wireless. Now we have them and it doesn't even seem like something unusual anymore. I just cannot stop being amazed on how fast the technologies are evolving. Meanwhile, I'm almost done with the product removal. I get this question a lot. Is it safe to use carbide bit like this to fully remove the product? If you are 100% confident and you have enough experience doing this, then yes, this is what I do. I do not switch to another abrasive, but if you're just getting started, it is better to switch to softer abrasive, such as with red abrasive mark or to the hand file. 
I'm done with product removal and let's try something else. This is also a carbide bead but needle shaped and I will try filing the product and the nail underneath like this. And the speed I'm using now is almost the top speed again, 30,000 rotations per minute. I think this electric nail file passed the test of doing fills and product removal. Now let's try doing dry manicure and do some new extensions for my model. She has gorgeous, beautiful, natural nails, but we decided to do extensions because she wants them slightly longer. First I push back the cuticles and then we need to trim her nails because it is going to be much easier to apply the tips. Wow, her natural nails are so strong, I can hardly even trim them with my manicure scissors. And then I shape them slightly with a 180 grit hand file and then we proceed to dry manicure. I will be using diamond bead flame shaped with red abrasive mark. When you are doing product removal, your drill bit is mostly working with the product. And also when you are using carbide or ceramic drill bit, it's different. All we need to do is basically to shave the layers of the product from the top. But when we are doing dry manicure, we are mostly working with the skin and slightly with the natural nail. So here we do not need such high speed, I usually work at 17 to 20,000 rotations per minute. Most importantly, you are not supposed to press onto the natural nail if you do not want to see ridges after two to three weeks once the nails grow longer. Dry manicure, also known as electric nail file manicure, is my favorite type of prep because it's pretty fast and easy when you know how to do it. And also you are doing cuticle care and trimming cuticles and at the same time you prep your nails for extensions or overlays. With traditional water manicure you cannot do two things at the time. First you need to take care of the cuticles, trim them and then you need to make sure that you clean all this moist all the leftovers of the cuticle remover and only after that you need to take off the surface shine. In dry manicure we do not use any water so we do not need to worry about product lifting that may occur due to the moisture. After I clean the sidewalls and the cuticles I am pushing them up using the same drill bit. Finally I trim the cuticles with cuticle scissors. I do this whenever a client has visible cuticles, just like this one, but sometimes with extremely dry skin we can skip this step and clean everything just by using a drill bit. Now let's do some extensions and simple nail art. First we are going to apply dehydrator and since we decided to do extensions I will be using soft gel tips. First I'm going to apply the base coat, apply it in a very thin coat and cure in LED for 30 seconds. We wanted to do square shaped nails, but unfortunately I don't have square shaped tips with me, but instead I have long coffin tips, so we decided to use them and then to make them shorter. So I applied the special nail tip glue gel underneath the tip, make sure that most of the product is near the cuticle area, apply it on the nail, freeze cure it for several seconds and then fully cure for one minute in LED lamp. We are done with the tips, this process is usually pretty fast and simple and then I'm going to use a tip cutter to make them slightly shorter and they are going to turn into square nails. We are going to do the design mostly in bright summer colors because it's summer season now, but if you change the color it can simply turn into any different style such as winter nails or fall nails. I will be using semi-transparent pink nude color and glitter pink color. This is the background for the future nail art, now let's make it a little bit more fun. I will add some base coat in the middle and a drop of the glitter Barbie pink color. And then I will be using ombre brush to make it fade, so we will have something like circle ombre and it's pretty easy when you are dealing with the glitter. But do not forget to apply base coat underneath and do not cure it, 
That way it will be much easier to do this fade. This kind of design slightly reminds me of Korean style designs and I think they call them blush nails when you have natural or semi-transparent background and then you use pink or red color in the middle and turn it into ombre, like you used the blush on these nails. Then we're going to cure it for one minute. I think it's going to look even better if we add a couple accents on top of these ombre circles. You can do something hand-painted or the fast and easier option is to use stickers. So we decided to add some quotes, which is work hard, dream big and never give up. This is the regular sticker, not a water decal, so we just need to apply it on top of the sticky layer and then seal it with the glossy top coat. The link to the electric nail file on Amazon will be in the description box as usual. Let me guys know what you think about this design and thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here on my channel, consider subscribing as I post product reviews and nail tutorials just like this one every week. See you in my next one. Goodbye!